trail through the trees to a cliff where Carolina meets the sky. Oh, and there's a view I just can't describe. We are gathered here today to witness the union of Michael and Megan. We are glad to have you all with us. Today is the beginning of an outstanding journey for this couple. Drawing on their mutual admiration, respect, and trust, they are ready to embark on the next chapter in their lives together. We celebrate the love, light, and evident of their relationship and wish them well on this joyous occasion. Who gives this bride today? I do. If anyone has cause to object to the forming of this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Marriage is an integral part of human tradition. Let us remember, as you stand here before God, that the vows taken today hold great importance, just as they did to our ancestors. As in individuals, we make the choice to enter the union of marriage in order to share all aspects of ourselves with our soulmate. Today, this is true for Michael and Megan. As the Bible reminds us in Corinthians, if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but, not do, but do not have love, I am nothing. Under the eyes of God, together we take a moment to acknowledge the seriousness and commitment being entered into today. With great joy, we also recognize the special bond shared by Michael and Megan. Now we will recite a poem that encompasses the essence of what marriage means to the couple. The poem is titled, The Art of Marriage, by Wilford A. Peterson. Happiness is, in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all of the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty of sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and, dem and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding the room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. I will now invite the couple to share their vows with one another. Mike and Megan, the promises you make today are sacred. They are the groundwork from which your marriage will grow and blossom over time. Mike, would you like to begin first? I can't promise you that dark clouds will never hover over our lives. I can't promise you that tomorrow will be perfect or that our lives will be easy. I can promise you my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, my respect, my unconditional love for a lifetime. I can promise you that I'll always be here for you, to listen and to hold your hand. I can promise you that I'll willingly be your protector, your friend, your family, your everything. I love you. Megan, your turn. Michael. Although you know that I'm the worst at making decisions, <laughs> deciding to spend the rest of my life with you was never a question. I've never doubted that you are my person, even in high school. I had this gut feeling that you were special. I just didn't know how profoundly special you would end up being to me. There are so many reasons why I love you. I love the random hugs that you always give me and the sweet little kisses on my forehead just to remind me that you love me. I love your dedication to any job that you start, even if you do start random jobs at times that are super inconvenient. <laughs> I love how fiercely loyal you are to me and those that you care about. I promise to always support you in everything that you do. I promise that you will always have me in your corner no matter what. I promise to continue to grow with you and face challenges with you as we have already done for the past nine years together. I truly don't remember life before you because you've been there for it all. I stand here before you today so extremely excited to be able to start the rest of my life as your wife. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, 
with all that I have for, to give forever and always. Let us proceed. Michael and Megan, it's time to join hands. Michael, before your Crying family already. and friends, do you take Megan as your beloved wife to have and to hold through laughter and in sadness, through challenges and successes, through sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? I do. Megan, before your family and friends, do you take Michael as your beloved husband to have and to hold through laughter and sadness, through challenges and success, through sickness and in health, so as long as you both shall live? I do. Wedding rings are a traditional symbol of the strength of the bond between two soulmates. The bond is never broken and continues in a perpetual circle, glowing with the warmth and eternal light of two souls in a perfect union. By wearing these rings, you will be always reminded of the connection you share and the vows you have made today. Please repeat after me. I, Michael. I, Michael. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder that I will love, honor, and cherish you. I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times. At all times. In all places. In all places. And in always, forever. And always and forever. <laughs> Meg, repeat after me. I, Megan. I, Megan. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways forever. And in all ways forever. <laughs> Michael and Megan, by the power vested in us, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of New Jersey, under the eyes of God, I happily pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may now kiss the bride. This is it. This is now. This is what I've been talking about. Looking now. Ladies and gentlemen. For the first time. We present to you Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Rebecca. <laughs> Take it in. This is the moment we won't forget. On top of the world here together. This is it. Girl, I know.